divide by taking out multiples of 100. Tina is planning three concerts for the school band. A total of 608 elementary school students from around the city want to hear the band. How can Tina divide the students evenly among the three concerts? To solve Tina's problem, we need to find 608 divided by 3. But we'll write the problem and record our thinking this way. The dividend is greater than 600, so we'll begin by taking out multiples of 100. We think, what multiple of 100 times 3 is close to 608? 100 times 3 equals 300, which is less than 608. 200 times 3 equals 600, which is less than 608. 300 times 3 equals 900, which is more than 608. So we can't take out 300 groups of 3. We could take out 100 groups of 3, but to work faster, we can take out 200 groups of 3, or 600. When we take out 600 from 608, 8 is left over. Next, we can try to take out a group that is a multiple of 10. But since 8 is less than 10, we can't take out a multiple of 10 groups. So now we write 0 to show this. We do know that 0 times 3 is equal to 0, and, of course, we know that 0 times any number is 0. However, we still have 8 left over. Now we can try to take out another group of 3. This time, we'll need to use a multiple of 1, though. We already know 2 groups of 3 is equal to 6, because 2 times 3 equals 6. We now take out 6 from 8 and have 2 left over. Since we can't take out any more groups of 3 from 2, we're just about finished. To find the quotient, we add the number of groups we have taken out. That's 200 plus 2, or 202. We have taken out 202 groups of 3 from 608. We also have 2 left over, so the remainder is 2. We now write the division equation. 608 divided by 3 is equal to 202 remainder 2, and we are done. This means that 608 students divided into three concerts is 202 students at each concert, with two students left over. Taking out multiples of hundreds, tens, and ones helps me solve division problems with three-digit dividends. It helps Tina divide the students who want to hear the band's music into equal groups, although there are two students left over that aren't in the three groups.